Mexico's president is pushing back on President-elect Donald Trump's threat to impose steep import taxes. Trump says he will add a 25% tax on goods and from uh, Mexico and Canada on his very first day in office. Fox 4 Stephen Dial is in our newsroom with more tonight, Stephen. President-elect El President Donald Trump says that these tariffs are in response to Mexico and Canada not doing enough with the border and fentanyl. An SMU economist says that if Trump follows through on this promise, the price of things like produce and cars will go up. On the first day in office, President-elect Donald Trump says that he will impose tariffs on the three biggest countries trading with the U.S., Mexico, Canada, and China. With our North American partners, Trump said he will sign all necessary documents to charge Mexico and Canada a 25% tariff on all products coming into the United States. Trump went on to say this tariff will remain in effect until such time as drugs, in particular fentanyl, and all illegal aliens stop this invasion of our country. He may be all over the map on some things, but not on this. He's definitely committed to tariffs. Trump will also increase the import tax on China by 10 percent. The tariff threat was a popular talking point on the campaign trail. I asked SMU economist Mike Davis about the potential impact. Wouldn't that cost just be transferred to the consumer? Yeah, almost all the cost of the tariff is going to be transformed. Shifted to the consumer. The president of Mexico said her country has already done a lot to stem the flow of migrants, but says she is willing to engage in talks. In a statement, Claudia Scheinbaum said, quote, one tariff will be followed by another in response. Davis says that about 20 percent of cars sold in the U.S. are manufactured in Mexico. Just think about going to the car dealership and the price of the car you want to buy is 20% more. Um, you know, all of those costs are transferred over to the consumer eventually. Trump also imposed tariffs during his first term, especially on Chinese imports, but not to this level. The Biden administration kept some of those tariffs in place. It's possible Trump might use the threat of import taxes as leverage for negotiations. But if he does follow through, Davis says consumers could feel the impact quickly. Any retaliation that's coming from Mexico or Canada will be damaging to U.S. interests. The prime minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, says that he spoke to Trump today in hopes that both sides can work together. Trudeau said that this, in his words, is something they can do.